Yeah. Are you against meditation? I mean, you think it doesn't work as well as the discussion? Well, no, I just, I think they're completely different realms of human activity. I can't, uh, m I mean, meditation, you don't hallucinate. You don't, they say you do, but they aren't very convincing. And plus, the monks then rush over and explain that you're doing it wrong. So, you know, what's the deal? Um, I think, I, I if, if by meditation you mean lying down and closing your eyes or sitting up and closing your eyes a lot I do that a lot and I like it but I, I would never confuse it with the psychedelic enterprise pardon me I it's only my opinion but I really don't mm -hmm. I think that it's that that all of these spiritual techniques are not um, substitutions for the psychedelic experience, but trade-offs. You know, I mean, organized religion is as concerned with controlling social groups as organized politics is. And the, the, uh, the visionary or ecstatic experience is unsettling to the religious mentality. You know, even among fundamentalist Christians, uh, if you're not one, they all seem more or less alike. But if you move into that world, you discover that they are very strongly polarized in two directions. Those who are scripturalists and those who are experientialists. The glossolalias, the speaking in tongues, the holy rollers, that sort of thing. And the scripturalists are very uncomfortable around the experientialists because to them it looks like demonic possession and they get really agitated about that. Um, I think that medicine and meditation go very well together. I'll take ayahuasca or psilocybin and sit in the lotus position for many hours and it, it's, it's incredible how they, how they work well together and then after the experience is over the next time I meditate I feel like I'm still doing the medicine. Yeah, well, I think that all of these techniques, like mantra, yantra, tantra, whatever, they work incredibly well in the presence of psychedelics, leading me to suppose that what these are are tools that were developed in the Paleolithic world of psychedelic magic, and all we have now are, are these tools, but we don't have the original engine that drove them. Yes, I, I am very bored by spiritual practice unless I've taken a psychedelic and then, you know, mantric chanting is beyond the power of mind to encompass or describe. Sex isn't bad either. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, it seems to be a general functional enhancer is what it is. Yeah. What about drums? Acoustical driving is also a tried and true tradition. But see, it's not about the exclusivity of method, but the combination of method. I mean, what you want to do is beat your drum while sitting in yab yum, while stoned on X, while at the holy mountain, while the astrological configuration is correct. <laughs> And then, you know, you, you know, line it all up and then push it through. That's the way to do it, I think.